Hello, Game of is back. And in this video, we're going to help this noob unlock the Fox Lamp and reach max level. Before I start, you can show your support by using Starcode Gamer Gnome when purchasing your Robux. Just a disclaimer, guys, every time you use my Starcode, I get paid. Where the actor slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. Okay, so guys, everyone knows that getting the Fox Lamp is really hard. Why Gamer Gnome? First up, you need to unlock the shrine, get 25 Azuri Embers. Guys, this is recommended for higher percentage of getting the said lamp. Gamer Room, is it worth it? Guys, it's up to you to decide. But if you're gonna ask me how many times did you gather uh, this Azuri Embers and tried getting it from the shrine, guys, it took me 41 times or equivalent to 1,025 Azuri Embers. So guys, I'm telling you, it's not really easy. Anyways, we can only start our quest of getting this at the third C. So you need to at least be uh, level 1,500. Or maybe you should be friends with the developer so they can lend you an account. Good thing I have an extra one with the Shark Race. This is suggested plus a Doe Fruit. Okay? <laughs> so now with that being said, time to grind this account to max level using the Fox Lamp. So guys, with the help of some fruits right now, because I already have this, so it will be a waste if I remove this one, right? So first up, the Pirate Millionaire. So as you can see guys, left click, for this sword is really good. Why? Because you stay in your place, so some swords will like uh, launch you forward. So this is a good thing for AFK grinding, right? As long as you have a Logia fruit, there you go, you can uh, AFK grind this one with an enemy that has no hacky. Oh, and also you need the level requirement, right? Don't forget that. We have two skills for this sword. First up is a Scorching Azure, a Massey 150, Infernal Firestorm, Master 350. So guys, for my technique, you need to defeat one map at a time here. There you go. Uh, it will be slower if you lure four or five at a time. And this is the Z skill. Again, 150 Master only. There you go. So guys, this is only a single target skill. You can hold the Z skill for better effects, but it won't increase the damage. Sorry about that. Sadly, yeah. There you go. Okay, so guys, I told you I won't be grinding at the boss uh, stone, right? But I will be showing you this boss. There you go. So you can get the pile talent here, which is really helpful if you want to run faster. And no, it won't help you get Azuri Embers faster if you use the pilot helmet. There you go. So guys, check that out. Skills really cool. There you go. So guys, again, Pirate Millionaire until level 1675. So after this one, just wait for it. Okay, let's just wait for the skill to cool down and use it to defeat the boss. There you go. Okay, guys, so after this, next island. Can you guess? Yes, Hydra Island, guys. So guys, at the Hydra Island, our target here is the boss again. Go Island Empress. But good thing, guys, we can use the Wall Strat here. So guys, again, Z skill. Go preview of that, and then Wall Strat. There you go. Just use your left clicks. Even though you can't see your enemy, like for example, uh. You exhaust all of your observation hockey or your instinct. It's fine because uh, the boss is aggro, so it will go towards you. Just pushing through the wall. <laughs> there you go, as you can see, and still using left clicks. If you want to make things faster, don't use your skill. I'm just using the skill for you to see. There you go. Guys, uh, one uh, thing about this area is there are lots of bounty hunters here because there is a teleporter right at the side. So even though they won't be getting much or any bounty from you, they will still kill you. Oh, we get the serpent bow. Anyways, guys, while grinding this one, using my fruit notifier, my main account got a Buddha fruit. So I think this fruit is a lot better when grinding using a sword. So we will give it to this account in exchange for killing it. <laughs> but again, we won't be getting any uh, what do you call this bounty from this one? Also, guys, if you notice, I have all the title, the haki, plus the mask, the accessories from this Kitsune update. <laughs> oh, boom. Okay, oh, we got a title, guys. Undefeated 1 and Calamansi <laughs> color. 
Okay, so moving on guys. Again, now we have the Buddha fruit. Everything is a lot easier now. Netflix, we don't need the wall strat now. And also, we've unlocked the Infernal Firestorm. Again, Mastery 350. So we're gonna try it. Guys, you can hold this one. So this is what I call the channeling skill. Meaning if you want to take full advantage of your damage, you should not be disturbed. Like you should not be hit, etc. Or else you will release your skill. Okay, where is that boss? There you go. Okay. So guys, target here is level 1725. But in our case, we reach level 1726. Next up, grade 3. Target the Marine Rear Admiral. So guys, usually, right? We defeat uh, the boss here, Kilo Admiral, but in this case, again, we are using the Buddha Fruit. Things will be a lot easier. Actually, it really depends on you guys. If you want to defeat the boss, do server hop and get some items, or just stay here. Personally, uh, I think this is a lot faster, but guys, again, you can stay here or do server hop with the Kilo Admiral. Okay, I hope that's clear. For our target level, guys, it's 1825. Okay. Looking good. So after this, we are heading towards the Floating Turtle and defeat only Forest Pirates. Why Forest Pirates? Guys, they are near the Quest Giver and the, they, the, they are near each other, which make things a lot faster in grinding. Also, the Captain Elephant is near here, so once you reach the level requirement, you can start defeating him. Oh, Game Room, can I server hop? Yeah, if you want, but I suggest Forest Pirates, okay? Why? Because you're using Buddha. Even though it's easier to defeat bosses, this one is faster. You can even use Auto Clicker, right? Okay, so I hope that's clear. Moving on, guys. Target level here is 900, oh, 1,875. There you go. After that, next island is the Hunted Castle. Guys, this is rare. We're gonna defeat two mobs. First one is the Reborn Skeletons. There you go. So just use your left clicks. Blah, blah. If you want, you can use your skill. I'm just using my skill here just to show you stuff. But yeah, if you want to make things faster, just use your left click. Okay, this is the first mob, right? So at 2,225, you can start defeating the mobs here, which is really good, guys. The Demonic Souls. So you can get a loot here. I think the Demonic something. I forgot the name. Plus, there you go. The Demonic Quest. Plus, guys, it's a lot faster grinding here because, again, experience is higher. Plus, the quest giver is near compared to the reborn skeletons. Okay? There you go. The game room, what is our target level here? Guys, target level here is 2,075. So, okay. So, guys, 2,075. We are now heading to my favorite grinding area in the third sea, and that is the Sea of Treats. Specifically, the Peanut Scouts. Why? Guys, they spawn really fast. That's it. They're near the quest giver and they're really weak. <laughs> They're born skeletons. They're even uh, because this more annoying compared to these mobs. There you go. Target level is two thousand two hundred, and after that, next up, guys, the Cookie Crafter. Guys, this this mobs spawn slow, but the technique here is defeat them one at a time. So after that one, go to the other one. Guys, you can lure maybe two two sorry two or three at a time, but I suggest defeat one at a time. Why? Because the moment you defeat the seventh Cookie Crafter. The first one that you killed has already spawned, okay? Next up, 2300. Chocolate Island, why? If you wanna defeat the Dough King later, you can start defeating mobs here. Coco Warriors are good. They will drop Conjured Cocos, which is a requirement for you to make the Dough, uh, with the list, the Candy Chalice. <laughs> I almost forgot. There you go. 2400 guys, you can now head to this island. Part of the Sea of Treats and reach max level. Wait, Game Renom, we're not gonna go to the Tiki Outpost, guys. That, that area is really hard to grind with. <laughs> also, this is a good area to grind. And we will reach max level here. So guys, I think I will be unlocking all of the swords on my next video since I am already holding an account with this one. Plus, maybe all the fight styles in one video, okay? Using this account. Okay, because it uh, still has combat, right? So guys, again, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that they release the Dragon Fruit update soon. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, see you on my next video. Bye-bye.